The past three years have been economically challenging for most Ghanaians, but the year 2022 was even worse, coupled with the increasing costs of utilities, groceries, fuel, and many others. A good number of citizens have had to cope under unbearable living conditions. For now, many are only hanging on a thin line of faith, trusting that things could only get better in the year 2023. But what exactly does the year 2023 have to offer in terms of economics? With the uh, economy slowing down globally, uh, we are projecting a global growth to go down to 2.7%, maybe even lower, and it will continue to drop down. The International Monetary Fund boss's statement could mean tougher times for struggling nations like Ghana. So this is what we see in 2023. For most of the world economy, this is going to be a tough year, tougher than the year we leave behind. Why? Because the three big economies, US, EU, China, are all slowing down simultaneously. In spite of this, President Tekufado in his Christmas and New Year message is confident Ghana's economy will recover in 2023. Over the last three years, we've been confronted with our own captivity in Babylon moment. I'm happy that in spite of it all, we're beginning to emerge out of the difficulty, which encourages me to say that with hard work, dedication, and continued prudence in the management of the affairs of our nation, we will rise up again. But economist Patrick Esumin is of a different view. I expect that 2023 will be a more difficult year than 2022 was. If you look at the domestic factors, the fact that we are entering an IMF program, is going to put some restraint on the ability of the government to spend in areas that I normally want to spend. And also, importantly, we've already seen that under the IMF program, there's going to be some restriction on employment into the public sector. At the same time, you are not expecting that the private sector will be in a position to create as many jobs as before. He hints of a reduction in the wealth of Ghanaians owing to the debt exchange program. Because of the debt exchange program we are going to go through, we are going through, a lot of people will not be as wealthy as they would expect because their wealth will reduce and that will reduce consumption. But government having introduced drastic economic policies such as a cut down on expenditure and the rollout of a new VAT rate would hope to stabilize the economy as it awaits some $3 billion from the IMF. Judith Aotritando, TV3 News.